What's going on guys, Kelvin here and welcome to 320 Tech. Today's video, I want to show you guys how to customize and solidify your iPhone home screen. In other words, I want to show you guys how to change the look of your icons and widgets to give it a new black and stealthy look that I guarantee you no one will have. This video will be separated into two main parts, customizing your app icons as well as creating your dark theme widgets. I'll also show you guys how to get my bonus home screen background that has a rainbow border around it that fades away whenever you exit an app. But wait till the very end because your home screen setup will not be finished without it. As always, I'll have the timestamps in the description below to let you guys jump to wherever you need to go. And without further ado, let's go! To customize the app icons, you'll need two main apps. The Shortcuts app and the Files app, both of which are made by Apple. If you guys don't have these apps, you may have deleted them in the past. In that case, download them from the App Store because you'll be needing both these apps for this to work. So the very first thing that we want to do is go into the Shortcuts app. As you guys can see here, I've got a bunch of shortcuts here and each of these shortcuts represents an app icon that I've changed. If you want to create some more app icons, you'll need to have more shortcuts. It's pretty straightforward. All right, let me show you guys how to create your very first AMOLED app icon. So let's start off by pressing the plus button on the top right corner, then pressing add action and then scripting. Then we'll press open app and then press choose. This will show you a list of every single app installed on my iPhone. For this example, I want to show you guys how to customize the app store icon. So let's press app store and then the three dots on the top right corner and then add to home screen. From here, we'll change the name of this app shortcut to app store. Then we'll press the icon next to it, press choose file and then press that dark app store icon on the right hand side. Then we'll press add then we'll press done and then next. Now we'll change the shortcut name to app store and then press done. There you go, your very first AMOLED app icon. To clarify, the app icons that I use within this video were not created by me. They were actually created by a few guys on Reddit that I have credited in the description below. They have given me permission to use those same icons within this video and to also share it with you guys as well. So massive thanks to those guys for helping make this video possible. As you guys can see, since my background for my home screen is also black, the icon blends in nicely and appears as if it's floating. How awesome is that, right? The icon pack includes a bunch of popular apps so you can repeat the process I just mentioned for all your favorite apps to make your home screen have this unique deep black design. I personally think the contrast between the deep blacks and the vibrant icons looks amazing. And when you have it extend to multiple app pages, it just makes the overall phone feel brand new. All right, next up, let me show you guys how to get customized AMOLED widgets that complement your iPhone and make it feel like you have a phone from the future. Hmm phone from the future, huh? Ooh. So first things first, let's head to the app store and install an app called Widgetsmith. It's a free app and it's basically one of the best apps on the app store right now that allow you to customize your widgets in any way that you want. Once it's installed, open up the app. And as you guys can see here, you have three different size widget options to choose from. They're small, medium, and large. I personally like the medium widget, so let's press add widget. And then press medium five and then press default widget. And as you guys can see here, there's a wide variety of different widgets that we can choose from, both free and paid. Awesome. Okay, I'm personally digging the look of this day and date widget, so let's go with that. Then we'll press font. I like the system font, so let's go with that. Tint color. I personally enjoy the look of white text on black background, so let's go with that. Now background color, this is the most important part. If you guys want to achieve the true OLED look, you must select black. So let's go with black. Border color will have none. And then we'll go back and then we'll press save. There you go, guys. Really, really easy. Okay, so let's exit the app. We'll hold on a blank space on the home screen. Let everything jiggle. Press the plus button on the top left corner. Scroll down to the very, very bottom. Press widget smith. Awesome. Scroll over to see medium, then press add widget and then press done. There you go, this is so easy. Now check that out guys, we now have made an AMOLED widget that blends perfectly with our background. It's got no borders, we can't see where it starts or ends, it just looks so clean, I love it. So we enabled widget number five, but what if you wanna enable a widget that we made before? Let me show you guys how it's done. Okay, so let's long hold on the widget, press edit widget, then press widget. I wanna change it to widget number one, so let's press number one and then back. And there you go. 
my widget has now changed. As you guys can see, the possibilities are endless and you can customize your home screen to look like whatever you want. For everyone still watching, good job because now you guys get to see my bonus background rainbow wallpaper. The really cool thing about this wallpaper is that not only does it blend in with your app icons, it also slowly fades in through the sides of your phone screen whenever you exit an app. How badass is that? It was mine for so long, it was a secret, but now it's yours. It's your bonus wallpaper for today. Link in the description, go download it now. And there you guys go, the custom OLED app icons as well as the rainbow border OLED background as well. Both of those things, free for you guys to own. Links in the description below, go for it. If you guys enjoyed this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you guys wanna see some more cool and funky ways to customize the iPhone. Ooh. Anyways, thanks again for watching and I'll see you guys next time.